Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. Finally, you did it last night. That's why everything is turning on you. I take it again. Finally, you did it last night. That is why everything is turning right now on you in the name of Jesus. I use this medium opportunity to welcome each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. God bless you. By the help of the Holy Spirit, I am the young man. The Lord has been helping to bring us His word on daily basis and prophetic word. We are praying. We are interceding on this platform. We help people to grow in prayers. We help people to be a consistent prayer lifestyle in the name of Jesus. And this particular prophetic word is talking about finally you did it last night. Hallelujah. That's why everything is turning on you. This is a prophetic word whereby God is revealing actually. God wants you to know what happened. God wants you to know why the situation is in this manner. God wants you to know why everything is turning against you. Praise Master Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. At the place of prayers, I saw a woman, praise Master Jesus. I saw a woman kneeling down. Like this particular thing, you have been doing it constantly. But this last night, I saw you at the place of prayer. You were kneeling down in front of your bed. Your knees were on the ground. Your hands were on your bed. You prayed. You prayed at a certain point where you felt very weak. You had to lean on your bed. While you were leaning, you felt as if you were asleep. Like like you slept, but it was like a vision. You woke up, you climbed on the bed. Then you wake up in the morning, you continue. The Lord said, finally, that was a transit in the realms of the Spirit. Hallelujah. That one night was a night that troubled a lot of people. The Bible says there was a woman in the Bible that needed justice. The disciples were asking Jesus. This woman went to meet the judge. The first time the judge said, no, I will not give you justice. The Bible make it clear that this man fear no man nor God. Can you imagine a man in authority that fear no man nor God? With that authority, just imagine how harsh that man might be or how that man might, you, you get it. So maybe this man proposed to the woman, to this widow, if you need your justice as a widow, be my girlfriend, sleep with me, spend the night with me, or give me money or bribe me before I can give you justice. But this woman said, no, though I don't have nobody to, to, to stand by me. My husband is no more. I have no money to give you, but I know the corridor. There is always a sacred place of which I know that I have somebody that I can stand by and intercede. The Bible said this woman troubled the judge. You cannot trouble somebody physically and they give you justice. If you trouble a man that fear no man or God physically, listen to me, they will put you in jail. They might kill you and you will not do anything. Why did this man give the woman justice? There was a secret that people don't know. The Bible said this woman troubled the judge day and night. When the judge, in the way this, this judge could not have peace, that means at night this, this woman were troubling the judge. During the day, she will still go there. This woman will say there is no harm in trials. Though I pray yesterday, I will pray again. Though I went yesterday, I will go again. I will not give up. What have you been expecting from the Lord? Child of God, family, listen to me. What have you been expecting from the Lord that has become a limitation to you? What is that particular thing that has been fighting you day and night? What is that particular thing that, that, that has been taking away your joy? That each day you sleep, you feel as if, no, the witchcraft is too much. The pain is too much. The temptation is too much. You sleep witches and wizards. They are operating you. They are pressing you. Listen to me. The Lord says, finally last night. Oh my God, finally. Finally last, last night you did it. That particular prayer you prayed was answered. That particular prayer you prayed was answered. And the Lord said, now is a payback time. Hallelujah. In the realms of the spirit, it's a payback time. The Lord said, everything they have been doing against you, it is time for them to pay for it. That prayer you prayed, God said that prayer was a key to unlock all your delayed prayers. The Bible said Daniel prayed, the Lord answered. 
but there was a force called the Prince of Persia that heard the prayer of Daniel. Child of God, Daniel, keep on praying. If you're watching me and you're saying, man of God, I'm going to connect to this world. I've not listened to me. Build a consistent lifestyle in that particular problem. Do not give up. Stand at the place of prayers. Though you pray today, it happens, pray again. Though you pray today, they come back, pray again. Though you pray today, the challenge is come, pray again. Do not give up. I stand in agreement with somebody in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. You will not give up. In any area whereby the enemy is fighting or the enemy will be trying, listen to me, child of God, to, to, to attack or limit you, it will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for each and every one. I encourage you through this particular prophetic word. Do not give up. Listen to me. Do not give up. You have been praying. The miracle has not been coming. Keep praying. You have been at that place every day. Do not give up. The Lord say finally. And I pray so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you are blessing someone by this with this prophetic word in Jesus' name. Amen.